Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. This morning, the Fluffy Poodle and I are headed over to Green River WMA in Kentucky for the 2022-2023 blind draw. That's right, the duck blind draw for this year. So during this video, you're gonna see the whole process of how it's done so you guys can be prepared in the future and see how it goes. Hey buddy, just about there, just about there. Looks like somebody's ready to get out. Mr. Fluffy, you ready? Yeah? He's like, let's go, let's get out there and let's get this going. We're a little bit early, so let's get him to the bathroom, walk around outside for a second, and then figure out what's going on with this Green River Blind Draw 2022-2023 season. Fluffy, break. Good heel. Good boy. Yeah, you can see that I had to put on a little jacket real quick. Uh, we had a cold front come through last night, and uh, it got a little chilly. Hopefully these cold temperatures stay around, and it freezes up north to push them ducks down south. Me and Mr. Fluffy are going to head on over to the dam real quick, check this out, and have him go to the bathroom. And these gummy worms from Rural King are amazing. Just letting y'all know. Hmm, looks like the blind draw may be inside this year. Not sure, but let's go double check. Howdy, yes. How are you? I'm pretty good. Is it inside or outside? It's gonna be Outstanding. So we're in line inside. They're gonna double check, make sure you have all the proper stuff, your license, your duck stamp, and everything in between. They'll go ahead, fill out the proper paperwork, put it in, and then we'll go inside and wait. So we went through the line. We got our ticket. Now we're waiting, waiting in this little hall, you know, for it to start. They also gave us this, one of these awesome waterproof pouch manuals. We can put our license in. Fluffy Poodle, he's laying down right there. Just stay tuned, stay tuned. 10 o'clock, the drawing starts. Hopefully we get a good blind draw number and get on that map. Real quick, if you haven't watched the last video of the Barkley blind draw, the Green River blind draw is a little bit different. Um, here, they only have the blind spots, but they have a lot of public spots that you can boat into, be on the side, make sure you're following the local laws and regulations that are, that are on the lake. Um, with that being said, you don't get a pin a spot like Lake Barkley, but they do have plenty of blind spots and open spots on the rest of the lake. We only got a couple minutes left. There's a lot of people waiting outside the door. This place is loading up. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife getting ready to come in and explain everything that's going on. started with our drawing. <laughs> what we're going to do here, I'll pull a number out of this box. I'm going to write the number down here. I'm going to call out the number. I'm going to have somebody relay the number out there too. That way everybody behind you guys are going to be able to hear the number too. Once I pull your number from here, I have you announce the uh, blind number that you want. And I have the locations on this map here too. So it's going to be when you call the number of the blind that you want, that's the number that you're going to receive. I also have the permit for that. Once you receive your permit, I also have attached rules and regulations for our permits, all the core policies and whatnot. I need you to take this back outside and go around the desk up there. Once you receive your permit, fill out all the information up here on the top. It's going to ask you your personal information, address, that sort of thing up here. Fill out all that information. Once you have that filled out, 
hand it to the ranger that is at the front desk up there. He's going to make a copy of that. You're going to receive the copy. and We must have a copy of this too. If I do not have a copy of this myself, this permit does not qualify, okay? So I have to make a copy of it. So before you guys leave, once you receive this, you're not done until we have made a copy of this. We have one and you have one too, okay? But maybe I have a little volunteer might want to come over and pull the numbers out for me. Do you guys like to? That way I'm not being unfair. <laughs> There's only one more to call. Um, there's well over a hundred people here. Hey, never know, never know. The very last one, so everybody get ready. Last line. One zero five. One zero five. Well, the blind draw is over. It didn't get drawn this year, but uh, some of our buddies did. So that means we still have a place to hunt. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video of the Green River WMA blind draw. I really want to tell you guys, I can't stress the importance of having an in-person blind draw. It's because say if you didn't get drawn, you can at least be able to meet other people and maybe be able to have your use one of their blinds when they're not using it or maybe join them in their blind. Because I literally met multiple people who said, hey, you know, um, I don't use it during the weekday, so you, you can go ahead and use it during the weekday if I'm not there. And I said, oh, that is awesome for you allowing myself and the Fluffy Poodle to go out there and try to find them ducks and them geese and really get out there and cut it up and have that camaraderie with everybody. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this Green River Blind Draw, and we'll see you guys next week.